the jackknife, the pile of unanswered letters, remember? They're transfixed to the mantelpiece of the first floor room in Baker Street, a room haunted by memories of the 1890s, heavy with the fumes of tobacco from a shop no man has ever seen. Black shag is stored in the Persian slipper. The 7% cocaine solution is another vital clue. And if you're still in doubt, consider the case history of the violin. The address is 221B Baker Street, where live the shades of Dr. Watson and the man who solved the code of the dancing men, Sherlock Holmes. On the desk of Conan Doyle, his creator, stands a likeness of the one woman in the detective's life, Irene Adler. It was she who outwitted him. The scandal in Bohemia, remember? The bullet hole pattern shot by Holmes in the wall is but one of a thousand details of this lifelike reproduction of the great detective sitting room. Not an object is included which could not be referred to by a quotation from his case book. It is Marylebone's contribution to the half-century celebrations. Top hat and deerstalker, stethoscope, cape, the skin of a swamp adder with its clue, the speckled bear. The crop used in the case of identity. Chemical corner with every detail in period according to the research of a professor from Bedford College. And in front of the window, the lifelike bust placed there by Holmes as a trap for Colonel Moran. Remember that air gun which fired from the first floor window across the way? To decide where that murderous bullet hit the wall, the advice of ballistics expert Major Pollard was sought. It's a triumph of reconstruction by Michael Waite. A world of the 90s where the aroma of black shag and the shadows cast by a Victorian oil lamp bring the ghost of Sherlock Holmes strangely, strangely to life.